Hello, physics students. Welcome to our message class. And again, this is Miss Claire. Welcome to chapter 9, fractions, percentages, and decimals. In this video, you will learn two lessons. We have lesson 1, use fractions as division. And lesson 2, use fractions, decimals, and percentages. Okay, physics, are you ready? Come on, let's get started. Look at this picture. There are two children. We are discussing about cutting the, the strings into four equal pieces. So try to solve this problem and if you have your answer, share your answer during our class. Okay, let's start with lesson one, use fractions and division. P6, do you still remember this lesson? We have this lesson during your math five class. Actually, this is only review from your math 5 so i will expect that everyone can still remember so we are going to use fractions as division so look at this problem 10 students share seven pizzas equally what fraction of a pizza will each student get okay so we are going to divide the seven pizzas with uh, among 10 students so each one each child will get how much so if you know the answer Share your answer during our class and try also to answer the thinking cap question. Okay, P6. We have here another problem. How many waffles does each child get? So five children will share seven waffles equally. So how many waffles does each child get? So seven waffles divided by five. The answer is seven fifths. So this is a mixed number. We can change it into an improper fraction and that is one and two fifths. So each child will get one and two fifths. So this is how to make fraction as division. Next, another problem here. Fractions in the simplest form. Six students share three cards equally. What fraction of the card does each student get? So, 3 divided by 6 is equal to 3 6. Or, we can reduce it to the simplest form. And that is equal to 1 half. So, how did we reduce or trans or transform or change 3 6 to 1 half? We simply divide both numerator and denominator by the same number. And that is 3. So, we get a simplified fraction which is 1 half. So basically, this is how to simplify fractions. Another, I have here another problem. How long is each piece of ribbon? Irene cuts a 34 centimeters ribbon into four equal pieces. So we will divide 34 centimeters by four. We will get eight and two quarters. Can we reduce it to the simplest form? Yes, the two quarters can be reduced to the simplest form. So we will get, we can divide it by two. It will become eight and one half centimeters long. So each ribbon now, the small piece, the small piece, the length is eight and one half centimeters long. So how will we divide 34 by four? Just like our previous lesson before, Dividing whole number by a single digit. So we have 8 is our quotient. Our remainder becomes our numerator here too. And our divisor becomes our denominator. So this is how to divide numbers. And we can get a fraction as a quotient. Okay, let's proceed to lesson B or lesson 2. Use fractions, decimals, and percentages. Okay, look at this picture, children. Let's change 50% as a fraction and as, and as a decimal. Okay, how to change percentages into fraction and decimal? So watch out as we continue this video. Okay, so how can you express also 15% as a fraction and a decimal? So if you have if you have a hundred square grid, you can find there how to show fifteen percent as a fraction and also as a decimal. Okay, orangutans in a zoo. 
16% of the animals in the zoo are orangutans. It means to say 16% means 16 out of 100. Remember physics, when we say percentage, that is the, it means out of 100. So when we say 16%, that is 16 out of 100. Or if we are going to reduce that to simply as 4, that is 4 out of 25. So, 4 out of 25 of the animals are orangutans. Then, if we have 16%, that is equal to 16 hundredths. And if we change that into decimal, that is 0 0.16. Changing fraction to decimal is easier if the denominator is already 100. If the denominator is simply 100, there are two decimal places. Here, so that's why it becomes 0 0.16. Therefore, 16%, 16 out of 100 and 4 out of 25, and 0 0.16 are what we call equivalent fractions. So how about this one? Are 0 0.5 and 5% equivalent? If you know the answer, share that during our class. I have here another problem, Andy's and Karen's, Karen's ages. Andy is one and one quarter times as old as Karen. So one and one quarter is equal to one plus one quarter. The one quarter we change to higher fraction, it becomes 25 out of 100. So this 25 out of 100 is equal to 0 0.25. Therefore, one and one quarter is equal to 1.25 as a decimal. After that, we can change this into a percentage. So 1 is 100%, 1 quarter is 25%, so the total is 125%. So Andy is 1.25 times as old as Karen, and this age is 125% of Karen's age. So this is how to convert or change fraction to decimal and to percentages. Okay, we have here equivalent fraction, percentage, and decimal. Six out of eight parts are shaded, so six eighths of the shape is shaded. Change to decimal or percentage. Remember to make it into percentage, make sure that the denominator is equal to 100. So we multiply or we Reduce the lowest term, 6, 8 to 3 quarters. Now, 3 quarters can be changed to 100 as a decimal by multiplying 25. And that is equal to 75%. Therefore, 6, 8 is equal to 75%. Now, 75% can be changed to decimal because that is out of 100. So, 75 out of 100 or 0 0.75. Therefore, 6, 8... 0 0.75 and 75% are what we call equivalent. They have the same value. So, we, I will give you more about equivalent fractions, percentages, and decimals during our class. Okay? I have here another problem, Pharaoh's stamps. Pharaoh's has 300 stamps in his collection. 1% of his stamps are from Africa. So we will get the 1% of 300 then. So 100% of 300 is 300. The 1% 1 of 300, it means we will divide 300 by 100 and that is 3. Therefore, the 1% 1 of 300 is 3. So the African stamps is 3. 5% of his stamps are from Europe. Remember, the 1% of 300 is 3. Then we will get 5%. So we will just simply multiply 3 by 5 and that is 15. Therefore, he has 15 European stamps. Next, let's find the number of Asian stamps. 10% of his stamps are from Asia. So 100% of 300 is 300. The 10% of 300 means we divide 300 by 10 and that is 30. Therefore, he has 30 Asian stamps. Okay. Now, how can you find the 45% of 300? Okay. Remember that the 1% of 300 is 3. So, 45. So, 1 times 
3. Okay, so 45 times 3 and that is a 45% of 300. Okay, what is the new price of the wallet? Take a look here. If the price of the wallet increases by 20%, what is the new price? Okay, 100% of 200 is 200. 10% of 200 is, it means 200 divided by 10, and that is 20. So therefore, the 10% of 200 is 20. If we are looking for the 20%, we multiply it by 2, and that is $40. Therefore, the 20% of 200 is $40. So what is the new price now? We will add 200 plus 40, and that is equals to... $240. So this is not a discounted price. So the price increases by 20%. Therefore, the price of the wallet now is $240. Okay. If you have calculator children, you can try. If not, I will show you how to use a calculator using percentages. Okay, P6, I have here a problem for you. Sheila donates 20% of her salary to a charity. Then she spends 25% of the remaining amount. If her salary is 3,500 per month, how much of her salary is left? So how are you going to calculate this, okay? First step, take out 20% of her salary. So she has 80% left, right? From the 80%, she spends 25%. So, how much is 25% of 80%? It means 20%, right? So, she gives 20% for a charity and 20% for spending. How much amount she left? She had left. She has 60% from the total. So, you just simply calculate 60% of 3,500 and that is the amount she has left. A, B, Six, uh, give your answer during our class. So that's all about lesson one and lesson two of chapter nine, fractions, percentages, and decimals. I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. Thank you for watching children, and I hope that you learned a lot in this video. Always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy the rest of the day.